What is going on everybody? I am uh, going to show you my typical um, Forza Horizon 2 drift setup. Question mark. Um, hey man, where have you been keeping yourself? Listen, I've been here before so many times. All right, I usually stick with Nissan. Um, I have Mustangs, I have Genesis, I have, you know. Um, but I really like the 240, um, so I'm gonna go with the 240 today. By the way, this is not live. For some reason, it didn't capture my audio, so I did a whole fucking like 20 minute video without me talking. Um, so yeah, if you search GSDE in the livery section, we have uh, liveries that are you can drive with. Um, we got a bunch. Um, me and Kush and, and I mean me Kush and I think two or three other dudes have made some for our crew so there's a shit ton of them um, the S chassis all have them BMW um, the RX-7 there's a bunch anyways um, so yeah we're gonna um, show you what my drift setup usually is um, I know people are gonna complain about what I run with but it's whatever. Um, in the comment section below, uh, let me know what car you would like to see me do next. I know I don't have much money, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, just let me know what um, you want to see me do next. Uh, or paint, or freaking, I don't know, whatever. Um, and I'll see what I can do. Maybe uh, throw it in the video, give you guys a shout out or something. Um, so yeah, all right. So, once this loads, because it takes forever on this game, um, we'll get to uh, the setup. Um, I always start from back to front when I do this, the upgrades. I start with engine and work my way down to all the way. God damn it, lady. Jeez. All right. I start with the engines and work my way back to the power, you know. Um, so I always go VA swap every time, supercharger every time. I don't know why, but that setup works best for me. I don't like turbo lag at all. Do not like it. it makes me upset. I only run front or uh, rear um, and side skirts most of the time. It's kind of like the way that looks when it's slammed on the ground. You get the normal nose on it. Um, I run race tires. Uh, that's, this is the part that people are going to hate. I run race tires. I film a lot for our crew, so I don't like to be like slipping around and being hella far behind, you know, if, and trying to catch up. So I race tires as wide as they can go. Uh, oh, okay, maybe not for every car, but as wide as they can go on this one. Um, I like the... There's rims that I like on here. I wish they had more rims, but yeah, so... Um, 19, 18, 19 inch rims, because when it's slammed it looks hella nice. Uh, I don't really mind when they're smaller, but it, I haven't built one yet where it looks, you know, like a stamp car or whatever. Um, yeah, I also go rally transmission. Um, I like having the shorter gears, because I drift in third to fifth gear, not... Um, like second, second and third, and third. So, so I, I prefer, prefer rally, rally years. years. Um, it's just me. Let me know what you guys use. Um, 
and let me know your guys' setup. Maybe I'll try out some of the other setups too, because I'm so used to doing this one that I'm kind of spoiled on it now. So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, almost pressed that on accident. That would have been dumb. Um, I don't run any rally suspension. To me, it's too soft, and I don't like that. Uh, I like stiff car, really. Um, yeah, Max and all, I don't run a roll cage um, at all, because that's too much, uh, especially on a street build like this one. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, crazy. All right, so now for power, I max all of this out. 877 horsepower is what this will end up with. Um, it is a very powerful car, powerful car for, the weight, for the weight, but I'm sure that I'm there's sure people that out there who run, out there run, you know, you know, to have the super with like a thousand horsepower drifting. I'm sure there's dudes out there with like 200 horsepower drifting. I just prefer to have this setup. Um, yeah, this, this this one works best for me. It's there's just something about this setup that I prefer. Um, supercharger noise is so awesome. I love that noise. Um, so yeah, I, I always turn the supercharger. Um, I also tend to run my car with less camber than everybody else, I think. I don't really know, because I've seen dudes who have run like 2.0 on their camber in the front and rear. I only run like 0.8 on the front, but I do have a lot more power to keep it sideways compared to like some other people, so I can see how that would work. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to get to the tune here. I remember making this 20 minute video. There we go. So uh, tire pressure, I lower to 28. Uh, gears around 3.8, 3.9. Um, yeah, that seems to work out good. Um, I don't run any back camera really at all. Casters all the way up. Uh, slam this bitch. Um, stiff in the back to like seven, 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 eight. And then lock the diff. That's all I do. Super simple. Nothing too crazy about that one. Um, yeah, so if you want to see me do it again, just like press pause on stuff. Uh, I don't really like the paint that I chose when I first did this video. I went green. And like, I just basically went with that. And I was done. Because I was trying to make a video. But, um,. There's other parts to this video too, so I'm going to put up another one, uh, probably here in a little bit, just showing what is going on, so, um, yeah, so let me know in the uh, comment section below what you guys think and uh, what car I should build next, and then um, we'll go from there, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for part two, I appreciate you guys, thank you. Thank you.